down. And then assembly room. So they just got these are all short blocks waiting for different cylinder heads to get done for them and whatnot. And there is where you're gonna be. There's your drive kit. Oh, this is a whole cheese. That's all yours, and then your supercharger. Hey, that does look familiar. All right. This is Benny, the guy. That and that's the guy? That's the Benny, how are you? Jeff, this is. Good to meet you, Benny. Yeah. So he's going to be cool. Oh, those are the things. The injectors. <laughs> yes. What uh, pound? Or, yeah, you know, we can wait for uh, till uh, till we start the supercharger thing. 95s. 95s. Yeah, 95 nice. pound. Awesome. So we'll go get your motor. So you can take it out of your crate and see what you got from the scan route. All right, sounds good. Oh, that's Lo and behold. There you go, LSX 376. Get this baby on a stand, right on. Get Benny rolling. Very nice. Yeah. Love that. Stick it on the stand like that, Benny. <clears throat> Parts invoice pick ticket. There it is, the Gander Chevrolet LSX 376 B15. Uh, 376 cubic inches and B15 for 15 pounds of boost. I think it's going to be a driver. So that's the goal, is to see how this crate engine is going to handle the Whipple 3.0. It's, it's built for it. And then the uh, what Whipple rep recommends the, the Wagner front accessory drive. Yep, 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 yep. That's how I met you. Straight out of the crate, it looks nice. Mm -hmm. Not sure how it's gonna look with the gold supercharger on it yet, but we might have to. Paint, oh yeah, might have to paint the block. <laughs> That's on its little cart. Yeah, that's a nice setup. How long you been here, Benny? 31 years. 31? You don't even look 31 years old. Yeah, we were in high school together. Get out. Wow. We started, started when I was 15 until I graduated, part-time until I graduated, and been here ever since. That's awesome. You must like it if you've been here ever since. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Benny's ported a lot of manifolds. Yeah. They all get names. 
Oh, wait, yeah. you're the guy who's got in that little room? Yep. yep. Oh, okay. Yep. Very yep. cool. Yep, his dad worked here, too, back in the day. He was an assembler and passed away. You know, oh, no. Huh. So you're a legacy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very yep. cool. Yep. All right, so what's happening here? What are we doing? We are going to take the stock dampener off and then start putting on some of our goodies, unless you want to put the supercharger on first. I'll put the supercharger on first. What kind of oil pan? Oh, we got to put a pan on this too. I'll have to round up poly pan for this. Perfect. Sounds good. Let's get started. I'll let you guys do your thing. All right, Casey's out of here. Yep. He's got a business get to attend to. Get back to run. Let Benny do his magic. All right, thanks, buddy. I'll talk to you about And now this is the guy. It reminds me of Wagner or... Uh, at Whipple, because Chris had a little a setup that he assembled that thing with. So you got the same thing. Oh, yeah. Everything you need all set up. Yep. See that? 10, 10. That's my birthday. How nuts is that? Built on my birthday, getting assembled the day before by Benny. Oh, she'll be under, underneath there. Bronze, okay. you got the O-rings and gaskets already on. Look at that. All right. We got the little notch right there. And what is that? This is thread sealant. It is? Okay. Which you probably didn't need it. It, it works as a Loctite also, you know. Right? But I'm used to putting these on CNC ported heads. And usually when they CNC port them, it, the, those holes go through. So then you put a sealant on them. Nothing but the best, right? That's right. <laughs> okay, so now why the uh, speed wrench and not the uh, the cordless? Well, that is a cordless, but... <laughs> yes, this is a cordless. Um, just like to draw it down a little bit more evenly. You go with one of those, you could pull one side down a little bit faster oh, than the other. Okay. They are sealed with O-rings, so you can uh, don't want it angled wrong. And that's for the coolant. Goes into the intercooler. Oh, and those are for the uh, fuel injectors.
They just go in dry. What's it? They just go in dry. No, I pre lubed them all. Oh, bit. okay. See. Yeah. Pre lubed. Nice. <laughs> and all the and they all face outwards, not inwards. No room inwards, huh? Yep. That's right. Yeah, I was trying to get it everything set up so it'd be smooth as smooth as possible. <laughs> Going together. And the, any idea what size injectors they are? Those are 95 pound injectors. 95 pound injectors, yes, all right. 1,000 cc. Not see, pre lubing. Sweet. And the good thing about the uh, the brown color is that it'll hide dirt. That's right. Wow, that's a, it's a big old thing. Jeez. Yeah, and these are the newer three liters also. Yeah, three liter hot rod supercharger. Is the old one, this shaft in there used to be like that big. Oh, really? No, it's, yeah. Now the blue ones are even more power than the other ones are. That's much better without the plastic. Yes. Oh, that's the uh, supercharger oil? Yep. And what kind of oil is that? Like a mineral or? Um, <clears throat> I think it's closer to uh, um, AMS oil. Okay. Um, an AMS oil, we had a thing back there. Goes right not, in the little fill the, hole. Not the regular oil. And then you look down and there's the uh, oil level. <laughs> It's 
set. It came with a cable one. I don't know. But this we got a Nick Williams 103. So then that's the keyway, right? Yep, that is correct. So there'll be no slippage. Correct. <laughs> ATI is a lot better than the stock balancer. ATI for the win. ARP. There you go. Here's the part number. Go to Benny.com, he'll have frost your cake too. <laughs> we don't want that. Oh, the red Loctite. Yep. And the silicone is because you got your keyway in there. Your keyway can leak oil past it. You know? Oh, yeah? Yep. You know, because it ain't exactly size on size, you know, so. Don't worry, we're not going to take it on this. What is that torque to? 245 pounds. 245. <laughs> so that and the red box tighten should not go anywhere. There's the offset hole. I always have an offset hole, so he's got to find the dimple. Not 245. Nope, these go to 16. 16? Yep, 16.
And that's the blower pulley. Or is it? No, nope, this is the accessory. That's the accessory. The, so the first one is the blower pulley. Yep, yeah, this is the 10 rib and then this Okay. Is the it's all about those ribs. That's 28 pounds. 28, thank you, dude. I was going to ask. Kind of pre-assembled some of the stuff to go on all that quickly. And that's the water pump. Yep. Yeah, you've done this before, huh? Oh, a lot of them. <laughs> a lot. If you had a guesstimate, how many engines have you built? A oh. hundred, a thousand? Well, more than a more than hundred. Probably three, four hundred, maybe. I don't know. And how many manifolds? Uh, 600 and something. <laughs> wow. Some of the manifolds, like the old Bush manifolds, it's like 60 hours just to pour 60 one. hours yep. for one manifold? Yep. There was not a spot on there that was untouched. Why is that? Because we also got this little bracket that helps stiffen it all up and that mounts off the bracket. Uh huh. Bracket to the water pump. So you want to make sure everything lines up and stays. I say I have OCD about stuff too. But I That's good. Especially if you're building man. Like how everything's kind of like this. Oh, it, it's like the star shape. <laughs> I try to keep everything like that. Especially All lined these up. because these don't spin. Oh, okay. So these will, but these actual idlers. Yeah, it's been. Yeah, when you look at all my other motors that I build, I do that So you're the ones who set it up for the show, so they all look nice. Um, actually, I think they, they more do the 
show on this mine. I, sh I should do it because they never have them lined up. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. That's funny. Oh, okay. In order to get this to be perfect, you know, because like I said, this won't move, just this will. I've heard some of that belt slippage. And then uh, Casey was telling me that they've got the new, uh, uh, I, the tensioners that are taking care of that. Yeah. <laughs> you will adjust it from there. A little bit of blue Loctite. That's what power steering bracket? Yep. So Benny started here 30 years ago. That's Dickie, his dad, still right next to him on his workbench. That's so cool. to feel with the speedy handle because sometimes when you get the longer bolts like that like usually i torque those to 22 but sometimes the longer you get the more it, it doesn't want to torque you know <laughs> so the way i do it doesn't feel Kind of cool that we make all that in house. Too, Amazing, right? yeah. All the your fuel rails in house. Yep. I didn't realize you did all that Harley stuff. Yep. Yeah, you've done this a time or two. Amazing how easy that looks. <laughs>
once again, you don't go completely tight. The other side bracket is sticking in. The old side bracket. your heavy duty tensioner for the supercharger. The new and improved. The ten rib. The ten rib. This can be kind of tricky. Yeah. Oh, nice. And there's a supercharger belt. So at least I'll have this video if I ever need to uh, redo it. Yep. Exactly.
That looks amazing. Just like that? Just like that. Wait, and that, that's done. Is yep. that? Yep, that's done. Goes together pretty quick. So there it is, Gandrid Chevrolet LSX 376B15, 15 pounds of boost. We got the Whipple supercharger on top, the Wegner front accessory drive in front to spin everything, 10 rib belt, and then a six rib, 10 and a six, alternator, power steering, ATI super dampener, other temp tensioner, water pump under there, AC, so I'll have cold AC with a big old nasty Whipple blower, come on! Uh, so that's assembled right now, and I think tomorrow yep. we're going to dyno it. Yep. All right. That's it for now. Stay tuned uh, for the next one, and we'll get this thing on the dyno and see what kind of numbers it's going to put down. Let me know what kind of number you're going to think down there. I'm Jeff Disson. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, and, uh, and Benny. Say hi, Benny. Where can they find you on Instagram? You on Instagram? Uh, yes, yeah. Benjamin Hart, or Hart Benjamin, I believe. Um, yeah, Hart Benjamin. There you go. Check them out. Thanks, Benny. Yep, not a problem.